This is a brief overview of using the new content editor and the HTML source code option. So let's say that you want to embed a YouTube video or a Google document into an item. And to do that, you have to access the additional tools in the content editor. And the HTML source code option is the one with the little brackets. Okay, so let's do the YouTube video first. So at YouTube, here's this video that I want. And I can embed this YouTube video by going to share and getting the embed code. And if I want to enable some privacy options, I can do that. And I'm just going to copy the code that they have provided to me. And in Blackboard, in the content editor, I'll just call this example video drop down a line and now I will go into my source code and paste in the code and notice how the iframe code has a width and height defined for me so that's going to tell this content editor how to size this piece of content so I'll click Save and there's my little preview like so okay and if I want to keep adding some more content I just have to drop down a line let's say that I want to embed a Google document so here is an example Google document and to get its source code I go to file publish to web go to embed click publish and then I just copy the code that they provide to me before I get too far note how they do not define the width and height dimensions of this piece of content Let's just go into Publish Content Settings and see, nope, there is no way to define that here. But that's okay, we can do a little adjustment when we're in Blackboard. Okay, so in the Content Editor, if I click on my little source code button, I can paste in that code, and note how there isn't any um, width or height defined here. What I can do is right after the word iframe, click my mouse into the, the code so I see my little cursor blank, push the space bar, and now I get this little tooltip menu that appears and I can define my property. So I'll select the width property, put in an equal sign, and I'll format it just like how I see the code in the iframe from YouTube. So I put in a quote mark and I can put in some dimensions. So let's say this is going to be 800 pixels, PX, and end quote. Push the space bar to get another space. Now my, my little tool tip thing pops up. I can choose height, put in an equal, a quote sign, and let's say I want 1,100 pixels, and then an end quote. So basically this document is going to render as like an 8 by 11 sheet of paper on the screen. We want a document that is longer than it is wide. Okay, so now that we have our dimensions defined, I can click Save. And on the screen, I can see the document is rendering at the dimensions that I specified. And there's a little dragging bar here, like a scroll bar, for me to scroll down and see additional content. Okay, so now that I have my content here, I can click Submit, and Blackboard will render it on the page. So here's my video, and here's my Google document, like so.